Today we're going to learn about common logarithms uh, from 8, 3, and reveal algebra 2. Uh, this is a very useful section because it allows us to use our calculators a little bit more, um, especially if you just have a, a, a more basic calculator. Um, that said, it's also um, extremely important if you're learning this class asynchronously or remotely. And so let's dive in. And so base 10 logarithms are common logarithms. And so that log button on the calculator or on a basic calculator, because uh, like a, a TI-84 or something will have more advanced functions now, right? But just the base log button, when you first hit it, is log base 10. So remember, every logarithm ever is always log of some base, log base of, of like of a number A, right? And so no number. If there's no number there, then that equals 10. It's automatically a 10. And so the common logarithm, just like think of the square root sign. The square root sign, if it doesn't have a number in the radical sign, then it's automatically a square root. If it doesn't have a number in the log, then it's automatically a 10. And so if I ask you to find the log of 5, there is no number in the base, right down here, there is no number. And so that would automatically be a 10. Right? Your calculator automatically thinks of it. Now, logarithms undo exponentials. And so this is really to undo scientific notation. That's why it's base 10. Right? But that is the common logarithm. And so we're just now trying to use the calculator. We want to type log base 8 into my calculator and round it to the nearest 10,000. Now, 10 thousandths is four decimal places. And so I type it in, log base eight, oh, log 8, log 8, and it tells me the answer is 9.90308. Okay. Now, this right here this eight rounds that up so that my answer i want to say approximately some rounding um, but i'm also cutting off so i'm rounding no matter what is point zero or point nine sorry point nine zero three one so that eight rounds the next number up And so you try, just take your calculator right now. Type in log 101, log 101, what do you get? Hopefully you got 2.0043 as your answer. Again, logarithms are, un, are and exponentials are inverses of each other. All right, so a log undoes an exponential. And so that's how we're going to use this so often. Um, I talked about this briefly, but again, a reason why we're going to have to know this is if I have like 4 to the power of x right, equals 16, right, I can do a logarithm to bring the x off front. Right? Or let's not even say equals 16. All right. If I just have 4 to the power of x, then I can simply put a log here. It would make it x log base 4. So by the log undoes the exponential, which allows me to pull the exponent off. That was from the last unit. And so that's really what we're going to use here. And so we have 11 to the power of x equals 104. So if I do log 11 to the power of x equals log 101, all right? So I logged the left side because I want to pull the x off. Well, whatever I do to the left side, I also have to do to the right side. So it's just like times into both sides or divide both sides, we're doing a log to both sides. This allows me to pull the x off. And so it's x times log 11 equals log 101. Now to get 
x by itself, I have to divide by log 11. These cancel out. I have x equals. I have log 101 divided by log 11. I type that in my calculator, and again, I should say I'm rounding, so I'm going to get 1.9. Two four seven. This is I just put the books page here because my handwriting is not always the best, and so this uh, has the full explanations of what we just walked through. Right. You try. Well, what do you have to do first to both sides to get rid of to move the x to get the x. Off being the exponent, what do you have to do to both sides? Hopefully you knew you had to log both sides. And so x goes out front. And divide both sides by log base 2. And then take your calculator. What is log? 15, sorry, not base, log 15 divided by log 2. What is log 15 divided by log 2? And hopefully you got 3.9069. Change the base formula. Change the base formula makes using a calculator easy. Now, if you have a, a graphing calculator, like a true TI-84 or something like that at home, you can find a button which allows you to put any base in log, and you could so you can find it. So uh, buttons, so you type this in just like it looks, makes your life easy. However, if you're just using a regular calculator or you're just you know a scientific calculator that doesn't have every feature, it'll have a log button, and so I can rewrite log base eight of 17 as log 17 over log eight. It's called the change of base formula. I'm making them both base 10 so that I can type it into a calculator. Another example would be if I have log base four of 19, then I would simply do log 19 divided by log four. Type that into a calculator, I get, I think it's 2.12. And so the last parts of your homework are going to be evaluating common logs by using the change of base formula. So you're gonna to have to do, this one becomes log 11 over log two, again, I take this, this is what they gave me. And I changed it, changed the basis so I can use the calculator. These are now both base 10. I just don't write the 10 in because if I don't write the 10 in, it's automatically a 10. And so now take your calculator. What do we get? Again, they're asking nearest 10,000, which is four decimal places, so I'm going to round to 3.4594. Again, I left the book's work because it's a little bit neater. It uses the words uh, on what we did. So now you try it. You're going to have to change the base here. Log over log. This is 52, this is 6. And what does that become? Use your calculator. Hopefully you got 2.2052. And so hopefully now you have practiced using that calculator a little bit. The homework today is on page 421. Please skip number 8, 2 through 16 even. Skip number eight and then 21 through 24. All oh, those last ones are just change of base, just practicing changing the base and using the gun.